When I was a boy, I wished I could fly. Me too. So did I. Out the window and over the trees. High as a cloud and lighter than air. And then loop to loop up to the stars. I dreamed about flying all the time. What? Girls dream? Up to the stars, I like that. Me too. Eventually, of course, we dream other dreams. We change. We grow up. It always happens. Nothing is forever. That's the rule. Everything ends. And so our story begins. Assuming all these ropes and planks are now the British Empire. And we are lords. And captains. Mothers. Orphans. Sailors. Pirates. And tropical kings. And please imagine that we are decking the ships and hoisting the sails in this early gray and misty dawn in 1885. A crucial year in the reign of Her Majesty. God save her. God, God save her! her. Who by her grace had just knighted a new peer of the realm. Lord Lennon Astor, Prime Minister of the Queen and devoted father. To Molly Astor, whose mother flew up to heaven when Molly was only six years old. In the years that followed, a nanny was employed to care for Molly and provide her with the essentials of young womanhood. While taking her with him on each world mission, Lord Astor gave Molly life few girls would normally ever know. A life that made her insufferably bright, insatiably curious, and pretty much friendless at school. Friendless? <laughs> <laughs> friendless? You mean like... Leave me alone. <laughs> Orphans. Most useless creatures on earth. Look at them. Cast out by mothers who can't feed them or love them. No mothers at St. Norbert's, only schoolmasters. As much as I hate to lose you, Mule, and you, and you, <coughs> I will not stand in the way of opportunity. Here's to your trip on a ship. What ship? What trip? Sorry, I'm lost. Me too. Boys. We're lost. Boys. <laughs> and so it was on the brink of a new adventure. That, that three, three filthy, filthy orphans, orphans and Lord Leonard Astor, his friendless Molly, and her nanny, Miss Bumbrick, journeyed at dawn to the docks of Portsmouth. Where two trunks were delivered to two ships there in the very same dock. Two trunks deliberately similar to each other in their trunkness. One of them containing a precious cargo belonging to the Queen. To be accompanied by Leonard Astor aboard one of the ships, a spanking new frigate. Commanded by Leonard's old school chum, Captain Robert Falcon Scott. Commanding the Wasp. Ooh, those are nice rings. I like those rings. We're headed off to the rundown island of Rundu. And the other trunk, full of sand courtesy of me, Bill Slank, captain of the other ship. The Neverland. Mm. The Neverland, a slower ship. And long in the merchant the ship taking a longer route to Rundu just to be safe. And then, when nobody's looking, Guys, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'll just mark the queen's trunk, the one supposed to go on the wasp. Then, at the last second, all ashore who's going ashore, I'll switch up. Get this trunk on board the Neverland, you garbage! Then, I'll sell those boys into slavery. Cheer up, lads! You're off to run dunes! I'll be helpers of the king! Food for snakes, more like. Credit boys, coming aboard! Make your courses, say your goodbyes! Goodbye to who? There's nobody who cares. Which is why I hate, I hate, I hate grown-ups. Go your cargo, start your play, a do a do! 